Hi, welcome back to the beginning hacking series. We're going to set up a Windows IIS server. Now it is an old IIS server for basic authentication. And the reason we're going to do this is for packet capturing, hopefully to see how the username and, pa and, and password are passed to the server in clear text. So the first thing I've done is start my Windows server up here. And the reason I'm using Windows 2003 is because it only run, requires 128 megabytes of RAM to run flawlessly inside a virtual machine. I imagine that I could probably get away with less, but sometimes I go nuts and increase it to 256 megabytes of RAM, and the thing runs great. So I think right now we have uh, 256 meg of RAM. Let me see. Yeah, 256 megabytes of RAM. And you can see it's nice and responsive, no problems with it whatsoever. It's just great. So let's pop in and see what our IP address is. And we are 1.89. Now next, I've already installed IIS, so it's already running on the box. So I'm gonna to go to Internet Information Services Manager, click there, expand the computer down, go to the websites, default website, I'm going to right click, and we'll choose uh, properties. Inside of properties, we're going to pop over and we're going to enable some basic authentication options. So click on directory security, and then we'll edit. Allow anonymous access. We can uncheck that. We can use basic authentication. Password is sent in clear text. We totally want that. That is awesome. And here it's saying, are you insane? Uh, you're going to send your password in clear text. And, and we say, yes, yes, we are. Yes, we want to continue. And so at this point, setting up basic authentication is going to allow us to put a username and a password inside the server so that when we log in, we can log in with that username and password and intercept it in clear text. Okay, now we selected basic authentication. Let's go up and uncheck enable anonymous access. And for the default domain, ah, whatever, we can leave it blank, put some slashes in there, etc. Choose OK. So now we selected OK for that. We're going to choose Apply and OK again. Now I'm going to bring up a web browser, and in my web browser, I'm going to connect to the 192.168.1.89 address. So bring up the web browser here, click, there we go, 192.168.1.89. And it says, hey, I need a username and password. And at this point, we could type our username and password. I'm going to start a dump. So I'm going to start a TCP dump and capture some packets here. So bring up my little terminal window. Pop over to temp. sudo tcp dump dash w. And we'll say html.pcap host 192.168.1.89. Bam. All right, so now I got TCP dump running. Uh, where was my browser? Okay, there's the browser. So now I'm gonna enter a name and we'll just say user password. Let's make it something more descript so we'll be able to tell. Uh, Fred and my secure password. And it says, oh, I'm sorry, Fred, you're not there. All right, Fatma and Amitav, like that. And it says, oh yeah, that worked. Hmm, let's remember that password. Sure, why not? Go ahead. Uh, and so we have an under construction page because we do not have a website set up right now on the IIS server. It's just running, which is the default state for a lot of the servers out there. They're running IIS. Well, Windows 2000, when that server came out, IIS was enabled by default. Uh, so it's the default state for a lot of systems. They don't even know they're running a web server. And there you go. Now we're running a web server. Let's see if we were able to capture any information off of this. So I'm going to pop back over my terminal, control C. We have our little PCAP file there. So I got my HTML PCAP 16K. I'll do a uh, net dash creds dash P HTML PCAP. And I'll see if it found anything. Up, uh, look at that. Basic authentication, it found it. Fred, right there, Fred, my secure password, and Fatma. Amitav, right there. And NetCreds ripped that straight out. Okay, let's go over to uh, Wireshark, Wireshark, and HTML. HTML PCAP, we'll go into Wireshark here. 
I'll minimize it to fit the screen. Or I'll try to minimize it to fit, uh, try to fit the screen here. There we go. So we have Wireshark running. And up here, let's click on something like this HTTP. And I'll go ahead and right click and choose follow the TCP stream. Let's see what we got. Up here, it says authorization, basic. And it has this encoded username password thing going on, which is annoying. We'll have to decode it. Uh, there we go, basic. Once again, we'll have to decode that uh, to see to see what it actually says. And some other stuff going on. That is it. That is intercepting basic authentication, going over to an IIS website. Uh, of course, we're using a Linux box to do the capture here, but you could use anything for the capture. And then we used NetCreds to rip the username and password out. But you can go into Wireshark, you can copy that stuff, and then you can do the decoding on it to, to get out the username and password. Hope this was helpful, and I hope that you have a great day.